Last time on episode 182 of AWSM Comedy Radio. Hi, this is Jacob. And uh, I just want to say that this is the best podcast that I've never heard. And also, I'll go out on a limb and say this is the greatest podcast to ever be held out of a bagel shop. So excited to see it. So if you'd like that, check out episode 182. But now it's time for episode 183 of... A. W. S. M. Radio. Damn, we're making some noises. <laughs> yes, I'm Logan. I'm Nick. Tom. <laughs> and now it's time for our opening segment. This is hashtag, hashtag all play. So this is an all play game where you at home can play by tweeting at us using the hashtag AWSM, and you and the live audience can play by just. Yelling. Saying the first thing that comes to your mind when I say a word that is trending on Twitter. That word is Groundhog's Day. Bill Murray. Puxatani. No one cares. No one Repeating cares. Repeating the day. And that's how you play. <laughs> Hashtag. Hashtag. All play. All play. Here with us today are two very, very lovely Guests ladies. and a sarcastic <laughs> audience. Well, one lady and one gentleman. <laughs> yes, and a sarcastic audience. <laughs> Uh, please welcome Susan Glenn and Jeff Dow uh, from Infinite Sundays. Hello. Yeah, that yes, deserves a round of applause. Oh my God, so, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you You'll have a so show. How, yeah, how are you? <laughs> I'm so good. How are you? Oh, I'm really good. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a while. Thanks for having us. Well, thanks for coming on. Y'all go to VCU. Why don't you? Why don't you do that? And we'll go. <laughs> ah, Tom and I will. Ah, yeah. It'll probably. It was good. <laughs> Can we ask you the VCU question again? Who's oh yeah, that? yeah. Part of uh, part of the show involves answering <laughs> questions for your guests, and like and I think you questions. should probably answer. I, I personally do not go to VCU, or mm. did not. I'm that stray from Tennessee amongst oh. all the Virginians that came yeah. up here together. Virginia oh, Commonwealth yeah. University. Yeah. Oh, that's what I had no idea what VCU was. Tom's from Ohio. Well, how could well, I'm you? from Ohio. Oh. Well, where are you from? <laughs> how, I'm, how, how do you know anything? Buffalo. From Buffalo. Let's applause for Buffalo. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Buffalo. What's buffalo. That my it that's snows only there the word buffalo. Buffalo, buffalo. 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 That buffalo. one. Yep. So how did, how did this happen? <laughs> Susan tried to bring it down to a nice, genuine place, and then you all started growling. At it's her. okay. It's okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> okay. mm. D- Jeff, do, hey. do you encounter much growling in your shows with Susan? <laughs> uh. I don't. Um, she's very conservative in our show. That's a bold, bold face lie. <laughs> bold face lie. We love, we love the lies. But tell, tell us, tell us the truth. The truth of what's going on with uh, this new show that opened. Was it yesterday? On Sunday. It was on Sunday. As of recording. Okay. We, uh, we're in Infin- the Infinite Sundays program, which is a house ensemble at the Second City Theater, uh-huh. and uh, we, because of the fire, have been doing it for over a year now. Right. And we just opened our final show. So we were in process for a while. And then oh, now... Oh, so it was delayed because of the fire. Yeah. So for those of you who mm-hmm. don't know, there was a fire. There was a large <laughs> that fire. shut down. Yeah. It was uh, at Second City. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It was a big fire. And then now we're, we're running our full eight-week run. We just opened on Sunday. We're every Sunday at 8 p.m. in the brand new Trading Center Theater, the Blackout mm. Theater, mm. which Whoa. is very cool. You can Woo. check it out. It, sa- it sounds like a place where I would feel right at home. Oh, yeah, <laughs> totally. Blackout Theater. Uh, t- so this will be a recurring sketch comedy show, and is it's the name of the show New Year, New You? Correct. Oh, oh, that's just so wonderful. It just ties in with everything that <laughs> I, I, I want to be happening right now. Right. Because uh, I'm going to make a special announcement later uh, uh, in the next episode that we have yeah. here tonight, which is one of the ways that I suckered you all into coming out into the rain. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really special. But uh, it's synchronicity. Oh, new well, year, yeah. new you. Jeff hates the name. Why? Uh, really? Well, <laughs> why do you hate it? It used to be Rebel Without Applause, which I thought without was really oh. strange. No, I, I yeah. like that one a lot less. That's a nice I love that turn one. of a phrase, and that's what's on our um, brochures. Is that what they're oh, called? Oh, uh, pamphlets. The uh, <laughs> program. Programs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So they printed those bad boys, and then they were like, apparently, Rebel Without Applause is a band here. A popular band in Chicago. A very, oh, a that is a great name. Yeah. yeah. So they switched it. So they changed it. 
And uh, Jeff said that it's not topical to have a new year in your name when your show runs through March. March. <laughs> but I think it's uh, fine. I the think first it's fine. third. I think it's totally. It's the first third of the year. Yeah. It's yeah. basically still New Year's in my mind anyway. Yeah. Right. It's a so, infant year. Tell us a little bit about the show specifically. Are there new sketches every Sunday? Are there returning favorites with some additional ones? Or how, like, how's it going to flow? Well, we were working on sketches for a long time, and then we kind of, it's the way the Second City process goes, where you, you try things out in front of an audience, and you slowly eliminate things until you have your running order. So now we have a set running order that doesn't change. Yeah. Okay. We, we sifted through a lot of garbage, and then this, there these was are the a lot diamonds, of trash. The diamonds at the end, of, yeah. and these are the good stuff. Yeah. A lot <laughs> of the trash is gone. You're welcome. So Thank you. Know. you. Uh, but now, yeah, all the good stuff. Yeah. There's an extended scene where Jeff just hits people with a fake stuffed dog. Ooh. Um, so, you that's know. your whole song about pubic hair? To yeah, I wrote a song about a pubic Disney hair. Movie? That's true. That's mm-hmm. all true. There's okay. not enough, really, songs about pubic hair. I think there's just two, but a yeah. third would be what welcome in the world. What are the two that you know? Pubic hair I, junction. I made them up <laughs> in the shower. Yeah. Oh. And then that other one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pubic hair junction yeah. is the best one. Do you all name your sketches individually? Because uh, we used to do that when we used to do live sketch. Do you, do you name some of them, none of them? Oh, we name them. They all have names. Yeah. yeah. they got to have names. What's the worst name that you've ever come up with for a sketch? Oh, yeah. Th- th- this is definitely <laughs> chin scratching uh, material. Uh, While I, you're thinking about it, do you uh, choose a favorite, like children? Like we've had children before. Yeah. And just you chose, and a, chose with a favorite? Men Not. that went down in history by birthing the first <laughs> child together. Well, I will say so this is a, Jeff and I did a two person show at the Annoyance for a while. Oh, yeah. And uh, we really didn't do a lot of rehearsal, which was, you know, smart on our part. Almost none. So. <laughs> The first three weeks, we uh, did a lot of bad sketches that only saw the yeah. light of day at one time. Uh-huh. I, I had one where I was walking a tightrope wire, and I had spent about $60 to uh, get a bunch of fake birds uh, that were like kind of on a string, on a stick, and then Susan would attack me with them. Uh, <laughs> and I did it for maybe like five minutes, zero laughs. Uh, and I thought it would be a lot of very good physical humor, and it wasn't. Yeah, it was painful. It was actually <laughs> that's, pretty That's painful. an all or nothing. Yeah. That's a hit or miss. Do the physical comedy, mm-hmm. when it's not working, it really doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> I was it like, just this is a genius concept. Falls. Yeah. Flat. Oh, yeah. And that oh, yeah. night we didn't invite anyone because it was our first show. So we're like, oh, well, no one will come. It's fine. And then, like, a family All of, like, six people, people who just <laughs> happened to walk into the theater like, and buy tickets for our show. And they walked in, and our audience members go, who were just, like, his fiance and, like, my boyfriend. And they're like, I think you're in the wrong theater. <laughs> like, don't, please don't drive them away. Our only audience members. Some were. There were, like, three that turned around and went to the main stage. Yeah. <laughs> They made a snap decision, maybe. So, what was the name of the bird? Tight wire walking oh, uh, sketch. Do it, we remember? It was just oh tight rope, I think. Yeah, high wire birds or something. Hi- high mean, wire birds. Tur- that sounds worst, like a good band name. Yeah. 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 Mm. I mean, if you're talking about bad sketches, I wrote a sketch called Turtles once, which was a bunch of <laughs> turtles talking to each other as they hatched and went towards the water, and then seagulls would pick them up and then drop them like half eaten, and they'd be like, "Oh," because like you know, that's turtles are just starting to to form. They're like, "Oh, this is what life is." Uh, and then the birds would eat half of them and drop them, and then they'd be like, "Don't get eaten by the birds," because like some of them, I don't know. I do not see how you could stage that. Uh, it was called Turtles. It 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 read pretty well, and it it didn't go up. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like there's a lot of room for <laughs> interpretive dance or mm-hmm. something to go on in that sketch because yeah. sta- staging this that's rough. Sure. We we don't have to worry about that here. It's no. wonderful. No, yeah. I'd say that in this show, Jeff and I are the, probably the two goofiest. So a lot of the stuff that we've pitched throughout the process has been like some really Goofus goofy, Maximus. weird stuff. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, you know, some of it lived and well, most of it died. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell me about one of the survivors. Um, well, I do have a song called Bring Back Bush. which is <laughs> That's the PP Care one? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's, oh. I mean, it's a tie-in to the election. It's not about the There's president. One. No, well, no, it's a tie-in. You know, oh, it's, 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 it's you kind of... I see. Um, Very political. You know, it's, um, it's pro-Jeb Bush, but really I'm talking about pubic hair. And not <laughs> Jeb Bush, because, you know. You know? You know, don't vote for Jeb Bush, you know? Don't vote for Trump. <laughs> don't vote for anyone in the Republican Party. Um, so, uh, <laughs> got some <laughs> there was an enthusiastic yeah. clap that almost started. Sorry yeah. if I offended anyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And there it Bernie goes. Bernie Sanders, baby. Now you can see who the Republicans are, too, because they're, they're all like, oh, man. Um, I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> so That's uh, why I do a podcast. But it's a uh, it's set to uh, be our guest from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, so it's a parody, which is actually funny because a couple weeks before 
the show, my mom emailed me and she goes, you know, it's a really funny idea if you take a song that already exists and then you write new lyrics to the song. And so she <laughs> didn't know the word parody? <laughs> she, she go, I think she even wrote in the email like, musical parody. And I was like, that is already exist- in existence. <laughs> and uh, have you heard of Weird Al Yankovic? Yeah. <laughs> like, just totally did not know that that was already a Nancy. thing. What'd she, did you introduce her to Weird Al? Weird Al? Does she know about him now? She, she like, like my brother had like a bunch of Weird Al CDs when we were kids. So I don't know how she like just forgot. I don't she know. Just <laughs> thought that she just like, thought that. She thought they were all original. She <laughs> thought it was called Eat It. She's like, this yeah. guy comes up with some catchy tunes. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, I just, this Weird Al fellow, he's on it. <laughs> I just <laughs> love how it seems like Tom wasn't really present in, the, in this episode until we started talking about Weird Al. Weird Al's and awesome. awesome. He's just like, oh, yeah. Oh, I Yoda, listened to the song uh, Lola. White and Nerdy is amazing. I was listening to the song Yoda. Lola the other day, and I legitimately was like, I think I, the first version of the song that I knew was Yoda. I didn't know Word that Lola the was a real like song. a giant carbonated soda. <laughs> S O D A Sohoda. Exactly. Yeah. Do we have to yep. pay Weird Al royalties now? Mm. We... <laughs> we probably don't, but okay. what we do have to play, <laughs> what we have to play, not pay, Ooh. is a game with our guests. Let's nice. get ready to right. play a game. You want to yes. play a game? Uh, this is going to get competitive. All right, it is a game called All Name All Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're about to play. I present. You just said all You're my all kids. name all Did I? stars. I think so. Somebody should record this. <laughs> Are you uh, not recording this? Is this just for? <laughs> this for no, we haven't recorded fun. anything yet. Tonight. Sometimes <laughs> I don't for funsies. <laughs> um, fun. So this game, uh, you'll both have thirty seconds. Uh, I'm going to go through a list, and it behooves you to get as many correct as possible uh, because it's timed. So 30 we seconds. both get to say our answers. Uh, no, uh, only one at a time. Okay, though. cool. Only cool. one at a time. Great. Uh, and you just tell me if it's a real or a fake uh, professional athlete's name. Who wants to go first? Susan. Susan wants to go first. <laughs> this is a great tradition we started. Susan, <laughs> your time begins now. Grover Loudermilk. Real. <laughs> Uh, Fair Hooker. Fake. Uh, o- Orville Overall. Real. Uh, sold Halfway. Real. Uh, Lenny Benny. Real. Reddick Bonk. Real. <laughs> uh, Mikkel Gladness. Real. I'm just going to say doing, real. You were so quick on the ticket. Saul Horse. Real. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Saul Horse. Yeah, I like nice job right there. Yeah, I, say like real, the I only said fake to one. In fact, I thought that strategy was... Awesome. Awesome. Just a quick shout out to that lovely lady in the back. Debo is going to have a show that immediately follows this one. She is a grand lady. And if you want to stick around for some storytelling after our recording, <gasps> then you should do so. Debo's cool. All right, She's so... Cool. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to uh, do that. It's real. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Grover Loudermilk uh, was a baseball player. Fair Hooker was an NFL player. Orville Overall was a baseball player. Sold Halfway is fake. Lenny Benny is fake. Redek Bonk is an uh, NHL player currently. Mikkel Gladness is an NBA player. Uh, Saul Horse is fake. And Coy Bacon is an NFL player. Uh, deducting the ones you got wrong from the ones you got right, you have a total score of two. Yeah! Two points. Wow. Orville Only Overall? Two? Honestly, I in this game... Two? Sometimes a positive score is negative. really good. Okay, okay. <laughs> You'll get negative a lot. Yeah, I'm one, just really hoping Jeff well, loses. But, All right, you know. Jeff, let's see if you can do better or if you nut. go into the negatives. <laughs> All right, starting with Christian Ponder. False. Uh, Dizzy False. Trout. True. False. Uh, Ritz Medium. True. <laughs> uh, Bronco Nagurski. True. Bombo Rivera. True. That's a good one. <laughs> Are you stealing my Royal strategy? Ivy. False. Destin Crispin. Ooh, Destin Crispin. <laughs> False. All right, that's the last one. And so you actually had four wrong, but you had three right. Negative yes. one is your total score, which means the winner yes. is Susan Glenn. Susan, I am the winner. Who's real off that list? Suck Ladies my big Jeff. <laughs> Very good. Ha! Well, I love you too so much. Mm. Uh, when you so can, much, audience members, be sure to check out Infinite Sundays, Second City Training Center's House Ensemble, presenting their original sketch review, New Year, 
New you, which runs New January. New Year's same you. New Year's same you. Yeah, and maybe no. not this weekend if it's if the Super Bowl is happening. We may cancel. There's a shot we cancel. We're up against it's the, after Super the Super Bowl, Bowl, the Oscars, and Valentine's Day. No, oh. I'm, well, I'm more likely to watch you than the Super Bowl. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, we're okay. big sports people, so. All right. So well, this you, is the future. Uh, you no, might only not Jeff, be I'm there, not. but I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, it definitely runs through March the 20th from 8 to 9 p.m., and we can get yes. tickets by visiting secondcitiespecialevents.laughstub.com. <laughs> if you're looking for something else to do, oh, I don't oh, know we got to laugh to at do. it. That's a Lef long like, website. Why don't we for take a look yeah. at the community? Webstub.com. Lef 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 All right, guys. Community calendar time. Mary Poppins. As <laughs> I can't be any worse than Dick Van Dyke with that accent. Mary Poppins Live, March 3rd through the 27th of the year 2016 at stage 773. <laughs> it's just down that way of the road. Uh, <laughs> From wherever you are, just imagine down that way. <laughs> just go down a road, you'll find it somewhere. Uh, family Puppet Show on March 5th through 6th. It's the year of 2016. It's the story of Pinocchio at the Filament Theater. I don't think you had to clarify 2016 every time. <laughs> but what if there's one from next year? Or, or what last if someone's year. listening what if to this one in the future year? in space? This one's only this year, right? Too. The last one? Uh, Romeo and Juliet oh, Opera in French at the Civic Opera House. I did not have a date for this one. <laughs> Just whenever. <laughs> I'm assuming the it's, it's the year 2016. <laughs> Good assumption. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day Parade, March 12th Woo! of the year 2016, parentheses, noon. They're turning the river green, you guys! That, and the Geneva shocked. Film Festival, March 10th through 12th, 2016. African American Dance, March 8th through the 13th, 2016, at the Auditorium Theater. <coughs> That's it. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So that was the community calendar with Tom Lalone in case you wanted something else to do in the city. Uh, l- thank you so much, Susan and Jeff, for coming on. Did you Thanks have anything us. that you wanted to add on to the end? Something that you wanted us to check out? A social media plug or anything that, to which our attention should be called? Uh, Trigger Happy at the Annoyance, Wednesdays at 10. Okay. Is an uh, original long-form improv that's... Uh, like almost like a mentalist magic show. It's a really incredible. Ooh, mentalist magic. Directed by Mick Napier. Come check it out. It's good. I've been there twice. Sweet. Well, thank you all so much for coming on AWSM Comedy Radio. Thank you for having us. You're very, very always welcome to come out and be on this show. Thanks to all of our audience and everyone here at CBA on Belmont for braving the weather and coming out. Stay tuned for one more quick episode with a special musical guest. Radio. No, you're not. Let's have a round of applause for these two. And Nick, why don't you tell us, why don't we go ahead and switch...